he won EVO with a kind of defensive, zony, sort of mid-range character. Great mobility. And in Mika, much more offensive, doesn't really have the same footsies buttons, wants to be up close all the time. Yeah. These are two very, very different archetypes. Okay. Uh, and really only have uh, the aesthetics that keep them together in all terms right. of uh, why he picks the character. So anyway, it's going to be Mago on the other side with the Kami. I think that fits him really well. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Gives him access to... So... One of my things that I've been telling people is the fact that like, I feel like in Street Fighter V, these older players, I feel like if they switch characters to these, some of these newer characters or maybe like take a step out of their comfort range, mm. they'll excel more. But it's really hard for a fighting game player, especially one that's like not thinking about like the results, to switch to something that's better for them. Mago, he's been doing this for a very long time. He understands how this meta works, and him playing Kami, you're right, it's perfect. You get the whiff punishment op op options, you get uh, buffering just in case they do whiff punish, you get the control of the screen because you, m you have to deal with a slower walk speed in some instances. All those things play a part in how good Mago is, and that's why he's rounded out. What a chase right there. Did he try to back that? Is that what he caught? <laughs> Never seen his outfit up close, man. It's cool Fiona outfit. Yeah. Mirror Speaking version. of aesthetics. Right? Stand medium kick. Mm -hmm. And this is good, too, for Mago, who's got the corner for himself. He's already there. He's got the meaty situation again. Just jumping out. And then, unfortunately, for Luffy, the wrong read. Like I said before, man, this is this is why Mago and Kami jail so well together. Look at the pace he gets to control. Look at the space he gets to operate in. Look at the buttons he gets to throw out. In this matchup, this is really good for him because now Luffy has to adjust. He has to counter move him. Don't let him get to these spots on the screen where he's going to be comfortable throwing out crouch and me uh, standing medium kick, crouch and medium kick, or even jumping for dive kick. And now you see Luffy be aware. He dashed up and did standing medium punch just to let him know. He's like, look, man, can't let you keep controlling this neutral like this. Mm -hmm. There's that crouching medium kick again. Okay, yep. What a whip punish, by the way. Perfectly timed. Probably wish punish, but it worked out. Yeah, that was a confirm. He saw the dash first before the down strong. Love it. I told you, man. He's really good at this. Gives him this control. Once again, defense looking good. EXDP to get out and completely negates Nadeshko. Yeah, Luffy's got a long road ahead to take this. Trying to get something to whip. Mago again putting up the walls. Defense right now is looking great. Okay, the trying it. Here's Luffy. Okay, again, he keeps hit. it going. Dash up again. The train keeps oh. going. He was looking for something big. Nothing came. He got the counter hit, but he just didn't believe. Could have got a standard medium punch there. Yeah. Uh-oh, trigger is active for Mago, though. Oh, yeah, Mago's a big threat. Mago, on the next hit, he's going to take it. Oh, oh. oh Mago, of all people, doesn't get the confirm. It's hard to expect somebody to get 100% on that, but he's usually pretty good. And he was at the tail end. Oh, the spacing! The spacing was beautiful! He backed off to exactly the right spot on screen. He knew it was coming. Oh, he the knew what was coming. Buster. Yo, that was I sick. feel like that read, that backdash read into confirming oh, what happened, wow. basically stole the round for mm -hmm. Luffy. Mago didn't need to do that. And, the, and that's still, this is still the first up. match. Definitely yeah. still the first match. Can go either way still. All right, nice confirm here. Checking him on the legs. Luffy stopped hitting block for a second. Mago gets another chance. Oh, the confirm gets the stun. Beautiful. Gonna spin that CS. I think so. Such a strong round right there by Mago. Like I said, man, he gets the control. He gets the spacing. He gets the buttons. He gets the round, man. Mago is ridiculous. Like I said before, if, you, if you're second guessing me, go look at old Mago matches. Mm -hmm. Before the glasses. That man was a <laughs> pop-off monster. But he played like it, too. You could tell. Just oh, yeah. A, just a, look at how he controls the space with this character when he has the tools. And he really turned it on in that round, by the way. He was a little slower in the previous round. He only moved in via dive kick at one point. But in that round, that man was dashing in. He was moving forward. Although Luffy did press buttons at some times that Mago kind of got, you know, he's confirmed it, but he got lucky on. So for Luffy, you got to think about that. He didn't need to get hit by some of that stuff. Just a mix-up, of course. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mago getting a lot more confident in that ground game. And you can see Luffy actually playing at a closer range now. Checking after the dive oh, no. really smart. Giving Mago the chance. He walked forward super far. Oh. <laughs> it didn't work once. Maybe try it again. It did. Yo, he was looking for it. He yes. was already hitting that hard punch. Four throw. He'll take that. Mm -hmm. back. And then back throw. Ma Mago. I love that defense. One time he did EXDP and it did work out. This time he only took a normal grab. You're, you're happy to take that mm -hmm. compared to what it could have been. On top of that, I think Mako does a great job of like being aware of what uh, Nadeshko call he's doing. 
Oh, missed the dive kick and Luffy gets the punish. And backing off, it's a slow game right now. Mako does have trigger. He's got gonna get super if he finds a hit. So he is really a threat actually to take this on the next hit. If he finds it, Luffy knows it, so no buttons out of him. Mm -hmm. Just hanging out. Full CA almost available for, for both. Spend it. Oh yeah, he did it! 16 oh, wow. seconds though. He's gonna need something else. I don't know how much time he'll have after this. It's not gonna be a lot. He basically has one mix up right now for the win or the loss. And that the man crush did slot. Counter sweep? Did he have trigger before the crush? Before that crush? I'm not sure. I'm honestly not sure. Because if so, then okay. I, yeah, I wanna. Well, it's too late now. Alright, right? We'll find out. Oh, early. Spend it. I don't blame him. He's gonna have a whole round to get that back. He's already down a round, so this is good. Goes for the dive kick. Oh, caught him ducking once again, the DP. And now Mago working on, on the full gold bar. Mm -hmm. Oh, dash up. Okay. Activate after the sweep. That block confirm right there. Punish, well, okay, a little bit there. Not so bad for Mago. That could have been more for Luffy. Mago gets kind of escapes right there. Okay, the nice chase with the DP. I'll go back to con controlling the space. Back throw. Mm -mm. And you know, you just never know when Mago's gonna be controlling space. Oh, and when yeah. Mago's just gonna be in your face all of a sudden. Talk about people having the chops to do stuff like that. Mago. Yeah, he really changes it up so quickly. Look, look at how he's just going back and forth. He's looking for a dash right there. I can tell you right now. Yeah. Use the EX dive kick to get in, holding up. Luffy. Not trying to stay grounded right now. Nice. Okay. Here's a confirm from Mago. He's trying for crush. Nothing came. Luffy was patient. But Luffy's going to need more than this. You know, a lot of his damage has come from making big reads in neutral. But okay. Gets the drop kick. Normal throw. And then blocked it up. Mago just very safe. Activation comes. Oh, oh he hit from the him? front? I can't believe it. Okay, well, in any case. Resetting the situation with that grab there. Luffy now has trigger. He can try for something into it. And look how quick Mago he sped knows. up this match. He did it like that. Like, he got activated. He's like, nah, bro, we got we to gotta move around. Gets the life lead, takes it back a little slower, tries to go for the normal throw again. Mago says not this time. What defense from Mago? So strong. I'm telling you, he knows. No, yeah, he's looking great right now. Luffy needs something big. He needs to find the right moment. No, he tried to react, and Mago was there beforehand. He's going to take the round. And the game. Man. Mago is putting on a clinic. Again, these guys, as we talked about before, they actually started playing the match. This is a matchup between these two players that has happened in the past. Luffy tends to take it, and he did take it when they played at Evo. 2-0, to zero, in fact. But now Luffy is facing the other end of things. Facing being sent to losers, and it's currently 2 0 Mago, the same score that Luffy beat Mago by last time they played. Oh, nice catch on the beer versus crouching jab, but it doesn't stop Mago. He still has momentum. Four throw in the corner this time. Okay, hmm. all right, here we go. Oh, the XDP to get out, busting out. Here it comes. Gotta make this count. Okay, yeah, back into the corner, lovely. Oh, same Here's side. Here's the Mika stuff. Mika again, tries to go for another mix up, not gonna work. A crouching beat too much. And didn't spend any meat. Regular combo to close it out, and that's the pace, man. That is a, that was a really good round for Luffy. That was the first time that I felt Mago scramble in this set so far. Here in game three against Mika, the first time I felt scrambliness from him. He's just playing the range so well, and now like now Luffy's saying, you know what? I'm no oh, longer respecting. Oh, he's turning up the juice. No oh. <laughs> Where'd the speed come from? Same One side. more. No. I there you go. Hit. There you go. Look at that round. That's, I mean, effectively, he's dead. He, that was an 18-second round. Yo, he steamrolled Mago that game, and now Luffy's still alive. Man, we talk, he's an Evo champ. He's got, he knows how to deal with these situations. Mm -hmm. Might get a little harder depending on the opponent. However, like David said, you always got options. There's certain players make you feel like you don't. <laughs> yeah. It gets mad oppressive out here in the world of Street Fighter. It Take does. it from me. It I does. play a lot of games, and I still I get terrified. I'm like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Dude, I feel <laughs> the same way in this game. Yeah, I've played some pretty wild games in my day, but something about the way that this game's mix-ups are, you just feel scared. I get anxiety. I'll be playing, and I, somebody, I'm, and I play Alex like a dummy, and then, like, somebody jumps in on me. I'm like, well, good games. Let me just start and go back to the character. You know? But it's 
Street Fighter has such a good like system for making you feel anxiety, and I feel yeah. like a lot of people don't understand when it comes to fighting games. Half of it is pressure and being able to perform under said pressure. Oh, yeah. Combos, you being in the right range of reacting to jump ins is all based on how cool you are. You gotta be a cucumber, baby. You gotta be a cucumber. In the world of pickles, you gotta be cool as a cucumber. Well, Mago was looking pretty green for those first couple of games. <laughs> but that game right there, he looked brown, man. He was a little, a little past the prime. <laughs> gotta do a better job with pickling next time. <laughs> all right, here we go. I like I that, David. I got all the pickle jokes, I'm man. Not... It's the food of my people. <laughs> I actually love pickles. I'm, <laughs> I drink pickle juice from the jar. Right, well, I'm, I'm that wild. guy. All right, okay. I'm not wild. David, you eat cans, bro. You eat the core of an apple. Well, yeah. <laughs> all, right. All, right. all right. All right, back to it. Back to it. Back to it. We're going to talk about this later. I haven't been on the Ultra Chain show in a while. I had to let you know. All right, here we go. Meanwhile, pretty nice back and forth right there by Luffy, but Mago is still with the life lead. He moves forward relentlessly. Unfortunately, missed the confirm. That's something that's rare for him. Mm -hmm. Oh, Bit. boy! Just oh, like that, the Luffy's right up close. He's one more mix-up. Oh, she's dead. Oh, she, that's it. As hell. <laughs> she is dead. I can't believe every time I see that, why did they boost the damage on that? Pretty whose good. idea was that? Pretty good. I don't know whose idea that was, but don't feel good about yourself. All right, here we go. Yo, look at the pace of this game. Completely different once again. God, I got to tell you, yeah, they're both playing like Mad Men right now. They're both in there, dashing, jumping. They have to, like, they have to. Each time, if Luffy tries to slow okay. down, if Luffy okay. tries to oh, here we go. Back into the corner, try it again. Back throw. Was worried about wake up TP. Mago almost in. No, he backs off. He wants to control. Almost with super now is Mika. If she finds a hit, she's gonna take the round. Oh, you gotta find it first, David. That's right. You gotta find it first. Very interesting difference in pace right there at the start of that round and last round too. Very fast. Oh yeah. Moving everywhere. At the end of the round, Mago slowed it down. Well, you see what, what happens is, right? The minute that Mago tries to Punish. speed it up, Luffy has to be more active and vice versa. If Luffy tries to get in there, Mago has to be more versatile. He has to start moving around more. He's gonna put more buttons there to stop that neutral control. So you now you have the round, it evolves into stuff like this, where they're swinging at each other, fighting out of the corner, and Mago has to lead another one. Match I bet you won't do it again. Right now. He backs off. This is what we saw from him before. Now oh. he's got the super. Anything's gonna do it. Oh, is yeah. that in time? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my, I guess there's really not that much he could have done, honestly, right? Nah, he was done. He was done. Wow. And now you see Mago. It's like Mago Exhausted. lost. Yeah, look yeah. at this expression. You can really see how invested he was in that result. Mm -hmm. That that's his losing face. Oh, yeah. But Mago. Like I said, was so well played. He, dude, like I said, go back. I I'm telling you right now. If you want to know the intricacies of how rounds evolve, go back and look at this set. Because you see it go slow. And when it's slow, Luffy's looking good. However, mm -hmm. Mago has to play the offense and vice versa. You do not want Mago with Cammy to feel comfortable enough to where he's just moving around. And then Luffy has to turn it on. And then you have to...